Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 23 career mode. Here today on the channel we have Season 2, Episode 2. First up, we have the UEFA Super Cup against PSG, which is massive. Not necessarily because of the prestigiousness of the trophy itself, but we're facing PSG in a cup final, which is a massive test for this Arsenal squad. Hopefully you can win it. You'll find out soon. So, if you haven't already, guys, make sure to leave the video like and subscribe. If you're new, we'd really much appreciate it. We still are in an active August window. We can still bring in some players, so hopefully you can do that here today. Also, let me know in the comments players you would like me to sign. All right, let's go. Let's get stuck into PSG. Wow, guys, we've been gifted a penalty here in the 68th. Bakayo Saka hooks it past Navas, and we're 1-0 up just before the 69th. Ooh. And that's how it's going to end. Okay, 1-0 victory against PSG. Very, very narrow. I have a feeling, since they've got Navas in goal, they were probably playing more of a rotational team. Like, where's Donnarumma? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, that is huge. Going up against a team that has Messi, Neymar. Uh, I was about to say Suarez. They don't have Suarez. <laughs> they have Mbappe. They don't have MSN. But uh, another piece of silverware to the cabinet. I wouldn't... Have they won the UEFA Super Cup before? I actually don't even know. Let me, let me know in the comments. I wouldn't think so. Maybe. Um, they have won the Europa League before. Eh, so, I don't know. Have Arsenal won the UEFA Super Cup? I actually don't know. Anyway, hopefully we're adding a new trophy to the cabinet. Anyway, Champions League football this season. Trying to make top four. And uh, we'll try and go far in the Champions League as well. Alrighty, so... We managed to beat Brighton 3-2. And now we're going to be playing this match against Liverpool. Let's go get it. Ah, Suarez is actually a free agent. Oh, that's kind of funny. Should we sign him for the meme? Because if you guys remember, Suarez famously was off... I think uh, Liverpool... No. Yeah, Arsenal famously offered Liverpool £40 million pounds and £1. Pound. <laughs> Which is uh, quite funny. I ca what a crazy time that was to be a football fan. Like, seriously. If they came in with a serious offer, 50, 55, 60 million... Luis Suarez could have very well been an Arsenal player because they were shocking back then. Liverpool, like they would have been definitely open to the deal. So I don't even know where he went after Atleti, but bringing in someone like Suarez just to help us with the goals. Oh, if I knew he was on there as a free agent beforehand, before we signed Aubameyang, which we did in the last episode, along with a bunch of players, I'd go recommend watching that episode if you haven't already. We also did sign Nagbury. But here is uh, Luis Suarez. His tats look on point. Very nice to see. But I'm not going to lie. He does look good in a Arsenal kit. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of collared kits. Um, in real life, if I'm being honest. I think they look a bit whack. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Do you like collared kits or not? Let me know in the comments. But a bargain deal. So, Tony Ababiang Suarez Jesus. Stacked striker department. All right, let's get stuck into Liverpool now. A team we've been smashing recently. Oh, no. Here we go. Only one minute in. Liverpool with Valverde. Oh, my God. That was one of the best goals I've seen from the AI. Crazy. Need to respond quickly. Bakayo Saka up the other end. 1-1. One, one. An absolute goal fest here today. There's going to be so many goals in this match. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, unfortunately, we're giving away a penalty. Nunez converts into the bottom left. An unlikely scoring. The score up. It's because he scored <laughs> and didn't miss. You're going to be kidding me, man. Another penalty for Nunez? Drills both of them as well. Oh, wow. Well, that sucks. And it looks like it's going to end in a 3-1 defeat to Liverpool. To be fair, that's like a, we've, we won three back-to-back -back last season against them. All right, transfer deadline day. Mitrovic joins Hertha. Saka potentially could have gone to Chelsea, but um, the deal fell through. All right, Champions League football. We've drawn against Dortmund, Ajax, and Dynamo Kiev as well. That's a really, really tough group. You could make an argument for all four of those teams to qualify. But anyway, let's get stuck into Barisha, Barisha Dortmund. Let's go. Uh, unfortunately, we gave away a penalty 29 minutes in. Dianma 
Started off the scoring. And that's how it ended. Terrible match. Very, very cagey. Limited number of opportunities and highlights. They get the 1-0 win. All right, moving on now to a match against Manchester United. At Old Trafford, Saka has been released. Five minutes in. Might just go all the way. And he does. Scores against LaFont. No David De Gea in goal. We take the lead at Old Trafford. At the Stratford end as well. And it's going to be a snatch and grab 1-0 victory against the Red Devils. We'll take that. Looking at the calendar in September. We've got a match against Spurs. North London Derby. Let's go. Saka looking to send through Jesus. Near post OP. And we start off the scoring against Tottenham. We're coming back from that match against Spurs. What a crazy celebration. <laughs> Martinelli looking to double up. Can he get it past Lloris? Of course he can. 2-0. Absolutely tearing up this North London derby. North London is red. What do you guys reckon? Great ball over the top. Oh, what a ball from Erdegaard. Jesus has been released. 3-0. Absolutely outstanding. The performance for the lads here. We've absolutely torn Tottenham to shreds. An outstanding performance. And what a spectacular strike there by Jesus. Arsenal 3 to Spurs 0. At the Emirates, no less. Oh my god. And then we've got some more Champions League football coming up. I'm so excited. Let's go. Ooh, dangerous this one. Match against Ajax. They said at the top of the group. A must win for us, boys. Uh, Bakayo Sack has been given a gift here. And that's probably number five. They uh, have the Leeds goalkeeper, Masala, whatever his name is, um, in goal. Interesting. And it looks like it's going to be just that goal from Saka there. One new victory against Ajax. Very, very good. Especially these things there, top of the group. Here's the October calendar. Another Champions League match, this time against Dortmund. We go away to signal Aduna Park. Ball in from Martinelli. Not good enough. Another highlight here. Tillemans. Oh, I can't convert. Oh, it's going to be a draw. Oh, that's tough. Seeing as we lost against them. That draw really complicates things. Ooh. Back in the Premier League, we sit in second. Liverpool first. Newcastle in fourth. Let's get stuck into the Blues at the bridge. Martinelli scores against Graham Potter's side. And we're 1-0 up away at the bridge. Massive, massive result here. Hopefully we can continue on. We're doing well in the Prem, but we're just sort of maintaining in the Champions League. Pepe on the inside. What a great ball from an unlikely source. And Jesus makes it 2-0. This guy is so, so clinical. He is one of the best finishers in FIFA. What do you guys reckon? If you guys have played with Jesus in and out, he is just insane on this version of the game. Like, he really, really makes a massive difference to this Arsenal team. I don't know where we would be without him. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed Season 2, Episode 2. Stay tuned for Episode 3 coming out the exact same time tomorrow. But I can't stress this enough. If you want to see more Arsenal videos, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.